Libraries come in all shapes and sizes. They could be a closet in the back of an office building or a feat of modern architecture. But what happens when you take the library out of the building? We said it before and we'll say it again that libraries are much more than the physical space and they have adapted to serving a community that's far beyond those that you come into the building itself. One of the most tangible forms of outreach are through bookmobiles and book bikes. These little mobile libraries help bring the library to the community instead of having the community come to the library. And despite their name, they don't just haul around books. Bookmobiles can also bring media and technology, programs and classes, and even reference services to places like schools, nursing homes, and hospitals, and pretty much any other place that you can drive a truck within reason. And then there are those programs that go far beyond the community that they serve. One such type of program that I'm particularly passionate about is outreach to prisons. On average, 68% of those who come through the prison system drop out of high school, and many of those cannot read above a fifth grade reading level. Prisons generally offer some sort of educational programming, such as learning a trade or GED preparation, but many overlook the basic literacies and the internal libraries that could help with this. This has motivated public and academic libraries to try and step in and help where they can. For example, the New York Public Library has a fairly robust set of services that they provide for inmates. This includes weekly circulation services, book clubs, library orientation, and a program that encourages inmates to read to their children. All of which can be hugely beneficial to the inmates once they're released. And it would be remiss to talk about how libraries are reaching out without mentioning the internet, which has completely changed the way we find and take in information on a daily basis. The Digital Public Library of America, or DPLA, brings many of the same initiatives as brick and mortar libraries, but to a wider audience. DPLA hosts a variety of content, photographs, maps, etc. on their website. Hubs across the country provide and or collect the data that is made available. And the best part is that it's not just a website, it's a tool for collaboration. The website dp.la just happens to be one interpretation of how the material could be displayed. All of the code is open source and dp.la highly encourages developers to find innovative approaches to displaying and organizing their information by creating applications. One example of this is that Survey used the open source code to create their very own digital public library. Bookmobiles, Prison Outreach, and DPLA are just a few examples of how libraries are reaching out to their communities, but libraries are finding new and innovative approaches to reaching you guys every day. Today's tip is more of an idea. Hashtags on social media empower you to decide how information is organized. Hashtags are how you make offhand side comments, but they are also how you link these comments across an entire site. For example, if you added a hashtag not just books or hashtag libraries to go to your tweets or your Tumblr posts, we would be able to find them pretty much immediately. You should do that. If you have any questions, comments, or even examples of library outreach that you would like to share, please reach out to us in the comments or in any of our social media. And as always, we're here to help.